Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Nisha Samra. And I'm Peter Ngandi. Today is Tuesday, February 28th, and we're here for your daily announcements. The 2022 to 2023 yearbook is on sale for $90. You can get one by scanning the QR code on screen. Junior prom is coming around the corner, and all tickets are, are $60 and can be bought at the student store. The due date for guest passes is March 3rd, and the last day to buy tickets is March 8th. Come to the Med Pathways fundraiser, fundraiser at Swinkles on Top, Monday, March 6th from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Be sure to mention CEO's Med Pathway or show them the flyer. If you want to have a chance to win a $15 gift card of your choice, make sure you take a selfie of you and your Froyo slash ice cream and send it to the Med Careers Instagram account or email Miss Wilson. Now, we're going to pass it on over to Tad for Wins and Fails. Hi, Wolfpack. I'm Tad Chilp, and before we start, I want to address a graphic that aired last week on this show, where the LGBTQ plus flag was X'd out. We want to apologize to anyone that was hurt by that graphic last week, and moving forward, we will be more conscious about what goes on air. Anyway, moving on, first, I failed a Twitch superstar, Aiden Ross, who was permanently banned on Twitch after streaming some hoo-ha on the live stream platform Kick. Now, this happened after Aiden Ross did some other questionable things, like streaming the Super Bowl to 100,000 people, which is just straight up a million dollar lawsuit if the NFL ever decides to pursue legal action. Aiden is lashing out, saying that Twitch did this for no reason and they don't have the right since it didn't even happen on Twitch's platform. Next, I gotta give a fail to Multiverses, a game y'all probably forgot about since its player base has dropped 99% since its launch. In fact, it hasn't even had a player count higher than four figures since September, which is a far cry from the 100,000 people that played the open beta when it launched in July. This is pretty sad to see since people were hoping it would rival Super Smash Bros, but instead it ended up just like Nickelodeon All-Stars. My only explanation for this? They never add Pedro Pascal from Game of Thrones. Finally, I'm not really sure what to call this, but they are making a Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Some scenes were leaked on Twitter of a security card tackling a kid into a fountain, but that doesn't really matter. The real question everyone was wondering is if this movie is good. I would say it's gonna be bad and it's a fail, but The Last of Us show has given me hope for the future of video game movies, and I just hope that the jump scares are as good as the game. <laughs> well, that's all I got this week, Wolfpack. Back to Nisha and Daniel. Thanks, Tad. That was really scary. 608 votes are in for the 2024 ASB officers. The winners are Mika Rucker for President, Lorraine Bambalam for Vice President, Patrick Yee for Secretary, Allison Flowers for Treasurer, Senior Class Governor, governor is Kathleen Fan, Junior Class Governor is Ryan Fan, and Sophomore Class Governor is Casey Cha. Congratulations. Now, let's check out the fun of BSU Fun Fact of the Day. My name is Nika. And I'm Brian. And here's your Black History Fun Fact of the Day. On June 18, 1942, a serviceman named Brenner W. Robinson made history when he became the United States Navy's first Black American commissioned officer. Also, a graduate of Harvard Medical School who dedicated much of his career as a doctor to the service of the U.S. military veterans. Robin Robinson was a man devoted to his country and his fellow soldiers, and he is remembered as a proud example of determination in the face of adversity. Thank you for listening to some of our Black History Fun Facts this month, and see you next year! That's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Daniel Gandy. And I'm Nisha Samra. And remember, the strength of a pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is a pack. Happy, Happy National, National Pancake, Pancake Day, Wolfpack. Oh, bye.